Hi Sagittarius, it's L here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Sag with a clear, concise message for me. This is what I want for you, Sagittarius. Alright, so we got a rebirth. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. All right. We've got an ending. This ending could transform into another beginning with the same energy or with a different energy. We do have a shedding of old dynamic, old thought pattern, old skin. We have the death of and then the rebirth. Or, yeah, we have the death and then the rebirth of self. Or a new opportunity. This could all, you know, most times we talk about a relationship. Let's see what's going on here for Sag. Yeah. Could be dealing with a Leo. Uh, I think this could be the death of, you know, maybe, um, a certain type of sexuality, a certain type of mystery about your sexuality. This is the ending of maybe a sexual relationship. This is the ending of, um, I don't know, this could be how you make your money, especially if you do it in terms of a platform, okay? Something is, you, you have to transition here. Causing for transition. Structure in reverse. Yeah, something is, it's like upheaval. Whatever you are rooted and grounded to is being up, you know, uprooted here. It had been slowly dying. You knew that something was coming, you know, to, you had to come to terms with something, come to terms with something ending. It could be a relationship, a relationship with a platform where you post or you do something. Now, that structure is no longer a structure. You have to look for other means of, other opportunity. Maybe you had some type of partnership, other people's money. Maybe you were using other people's money to do something. Other people's something in destruction. It's like definitely all of a sudden it, it, it fell apart or it, it fell down or it kept happening and then it got to a place where, okay, this is fine. This could be in a relationship too. Maybe in a relationship we kept doing the off and on with the hot and cold, getting back together. And then you now it's just more so. It's at a place where there is no structure. There's nothing but destruction. You guys keep coming back to the same issues. No resolve. Let's see what's going on here. Pause. Could be dealing with a Piscean person. You're trying to come up with creative opportunity, a different perspective of how to do something, of where to post, how to post, how to get something out. One more card here. Yeah. Um, definitely to, it's something about technology, large groups of people, how to do something differently. This could be creating or having your own platform. This could be some fast action, doing something persuasive or being persuasive. It has something to do with how you speak, what you say, what's going on, how you put it out there. You may have gotten taken off something and then you have to find another way to of how to get something else out there. Or you ask someone to get off of something. You don't want them on a particular platform. And now they're finding another way to get to that same thing that you ask them not to be on. <laughs> this is an interesting energy here. Um, let's see. Yeah, overly sexual, overly aggressive. Somebody could be like, posting sexual pictures, nudes, videos on some platform, somebody got taken off or someone was doing something, you know, overly aggressive, self-awareness, the, ex the experience of one's own personality or individuality. You did see the Knight of Swords. It's like something you do, it got you banned or kicked off or something about, you know, you need to be aware of yourself or how people experience you. You were overly aggressive or just knew that it would work or overly sexual or so on is in your energy, you're asking them to not do this or not 
you know, um, post this. This is what I have for you, Sag. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.